everyone, I'm Molly. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a studio apron at home that you can use to keep all of your sewing supplies in to make things easier to find when you're working on a project. So we're gonna start with um, looking at our pattern pieces. We have one studio apron piece that says cut two in fabric. So you'll see we've cut two pieces out of our purple fabric. For our apron pocket piece, we have to cut one in fabric on the fold. So we have cut this piece on the fold so that when you open it up, you'll see it's twice the size. So this is the folded edge. We've lined the pattern piece up with that fold and then cut around the other three edges. Then we have our patch pocket. We've cut one of these out of felt. We've also um, added an optional uh, decoration with this flower. So we've cut a little flower petal out of felt and then added a button to that. In addition to your pattern pieces cut out of your fabric, you're going to need two pieces of ribbon that are 24 inches long each, and of course some thread or embroidery floss. We're going to start by marking the notches on our pattern. So you'll see on the studio apron piece that I have a notch for my ribbon at either end. I'll just take my scissors and cut into that notch through both layers. I'll do the same on this side. And then here on our apron pocket piece, I have two notches on the lower end of the pattern piece, and I will go ahead and snip into both layers on those notches. You'll also see that we have to mark these four dots on our apron pocket. So those dots represent where our patch pocket will sit once it's sewn on. I'm going to mark those dots by taking a regular pencil and just poking a hole through my pattern paper. And then using my chalk pencil to make a dot on each mark. Just to make them a little darker, I'll mark every dot with an X. I'm going to set my pattern pieces aside for right now, and I'm going to work on building the apron pocket. So here I have my patch pocket, and we're going to build this as sort of a little mini pocket. Um, I'm going to first decorate it with my flower and my button. So I'll simply center this and you can, you know, you can use this as a way to get creative um, and do something of your own design. We've seen kids get really creative with the patches on their apron. Uh, so I'm going to take the button and just center it on uh, my flower and my patch pocket. You could always just to keep things secure put a pin or two while you sew that button down. And I'm going to take one of my needles with embroidery floss. I have a knot tied in the end and I will come up through the center of my flower, place my button on my needle. I'm going to do this in an X pattern, so I'm going diagonally across, pull all the way through. I'll do that same stitch, go back into the same opening on the button. And then I'll do the same on the other side. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'll tie this off in the back. So I will, I will make a, a balloon, pop the balloon from the back, pull my knot down, and then pull my thread through. Do that again, make a balloon, go through the back, pull my knot down, pull through. I can cut my tail off. I can make a new knot here to use it for something else. All right, so um, once I have my patch pocket decorated, I'm going to set it aside for a moment and um, stitch the, so I have this apron pocket piece that is one piece folded in half. I'm gonna go ahead and stitch the sides that aren't folded together so that we're working with this as just one piece. So I'll just put some pins on the edge I'm sewing. We have a half inch seam allowance on this, so you can stitch at a half inch or a little bit less. This is technically a basting stitch because we're going to be attaching it to the main apron piece later. Um, so I'm gonna set my stitch length on a three, on a four, excuse me, since this is not a permanent stitch. So I'll go over to my machine. I'm going to set my length on a four. I'm on a straight stitch with a zero. I've got my uh, tape on my half inch seam allowance. And now I'm going to sew the three edges I have pinned. So every edge except the folded edge together. So I start here, turn my machine on. I'm lining up the cut edge of the fabric with the inside of my tape that's placed at my half inch seam allowance. Start with the back stitch. Now that I have all three sides sewn together, I can go ahead and mark the placement of my pocket dividers um, because we'll be doing that. We'll be sewing those at a later step. So where I marked my notch, I'm going to take my ruler and just trace a line with my chalk pencil straight up from that notch. I'll do the same with my notch on this side. So here's my notch. I'm going to take my ruler and draw a line straight up from my notch. And now I'll go back to this pack, uh, patch pocket and attach it. So I have four corners here. They're gonna line up with my X's that were the dots on the pattern piece. And I will pin each side, excuse me, three sides down. So I'm pinning this side, the bottom side, and this side. I'm leaving the edge that is facing the fold open so that I can create a little pocket here. So I'm only sewing the bottom three, the two sides and the bottom edge down. When I stitch this, I'm going to do a top stitch or an edge stitch, so it's gonna be pretty close to the edge of the felt. All right, so remember, I'm not sewing this edge.
So I've now got a really cute little pocket. Look at that. You can hide all your secrets in there. Um, I can use this opportunity to clip some of my threads. I'll be honest, I'm not very good about clipping my threads as I go when I sew at home. So when I finish a project, I end up having to sit there and clip everything at the very end, all of those threads that are hanging off of my project. Um, all right, so now we have our patch pocket attached. We've got our um, big pocket piece together and I'm going to now sew the pocket to one of the main apron pieces. <clears throat> We're going to take the edge that's folded and face it up towards the top of the apron while the sides that are cut with your stitching are going to line up with the cut edges of the main apron piece. So I want this overhang here and I'm going to attach these together. Just going over the stitch I made before on the orange fabric. So three sides pinned, I'm going to trace the stitches that I have on the pocket piece, but I'm going to move back to a, um, now I'm gonna keep it at a four. So I'll keep this as a basting stitch at my four length as I trace over the stitches on the pocket. Now I'm going to sew my divider lines for my pocket. So those lines that we traced a moment ago in white here with my chalk pencil, I'm just gonna place some pins through the orange back to the purple and I'm just gonna stitch those down. This time when I sew these lines, I'm going to do it at a permanent stitch length. So I will switch my stitch length back to a three. And I've got to remember to do a nice back stitch on these because when you put your hands in those pockets when you're using your apron, there's a lot of stress on this um, divider. So we want to make sure that it's really nice and secured. So back to a length of three here. And I'm just starting with my back stitch. Do a nice strong back stitch and try to trace over that line I've drawn. Dividers, dividers sewn on. So we're going to now attach the ribbon that we're using um, as waist ties. You should have the notch that you marked in step one on either side of your main apron piece. So I'm going to line up, because um, you might 
Um, if you make this project at home, again, you might use a different width ribbon. We're going to line up the top of the ribbon with the notch. So here's my notch and I'm just lining up the top of the ribbon with that notch. I'm gonna just have a little bit extra sticking out past the cut edge of the fabric, but the most important thing is to remember to point the ribbon inwards. So this would be incorrect. This is correct. And I'll just place a single pin to hold those together. I'm going to do the same on this side. So I have my notch here. I'll line up the top edge of the ribbon with that notch. And then I'm going to sew these down with a reinforced stitch. So I'll go back and forth a couple times at my half inch seam allowance and I'll do the same here. Lining up my cut edge with my half inch seam allowance. Go forward, backwards, forward, backwards. It's just like a really big back stitch. And then I do the same here. Okay, take my pins out. <clears throat> And then I'm going to move on to my almost final step of attaching the back of the apron to the front of the apron. Before I do that, I'll just tuck my ribbons into my pocket. Actually, it might be easier for me to tuck them into that. This is just gonna ensure that you don't accidentally sew your ribbon into one of the edges of your fabric. So just tucking those away. That looks great. All right, I'm taking the second apron piece. So right now I have, this is my right side, this is my right side, and I'm going to place them right sides together. So right sides together, lining up my cut edges. I'm going to pin all the way around, but leave an opening somewhere so that I can flip the entire apron out through that opening. I think for me, I'll leave the opening on the top edge here. You can do it um, really wherever you'd like as long as it's not um, where the ribbon is. So would not leave an opening around your ribbon. Can't wait to flip this out. It's always the best part. So when we sew this, we're doing another half inch seam allowance all the way around. you'll feel it's a little bulkier down on this bottom edge because of all those layers of the pocket. All right, so we've got our opening here. It's big enough for me to fit my hand through to flip through. I'm going to start at this set of double pins, pivot at my corner, pivot at this corner, pivot at this corner, pivot at this corner, and then end with my second set of double pins. And then we can flip out. If it's hard for you to remember where to turn, you can always pivot at those corners.
remove my pins. And now before I flip out my uh, apron, I'm going to go ahead and trim my corners. So you'll see where the stitching is. In order to make this flip with a sharper turn, I'm going to use my scissors and cut across, not clipping through my, my stitches, and then just taper. I'll do the same on all the other three corners. Remember, don't clip so close to your stitches that you run the risk of losing them later. Right, and now we have the fun part. Um, we have this opening that we've left and I'm going to reach my hand in and reveal the magic. Woo. Can take my finger and just sort of pull out those corners, just kind of poke them. Got four corners. I can just flatten my project. Beautiful. I'll be right back. I've taken the apron over to the iron, just given it a nice press to make it flat. I still have my opening here. So I'm going to put in a few pins and do a top stitch all the way around the edges of the apron and that will be my final step. Um, I'm just gonna put in a few pins on each edge just to keep the fabric from bunching up as I sew. So I'm just close to the edge here. Clip my stitch, uh, my threads. And now you have your own studio apron. We're excited to see what you make. Please remember to share with us on Instagram at SoShopJunior. Happy sewing.